Welcome, 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 everybody, to the next pre-recorded version of a Bullet Brawl. Uh, once again, obviously, if you follow me on Twitter, then you know that we've been kind of out of commission as far as the live coverage or a live broadcast goes, so sorry about that. But here, it doesn't mean we have a shortage of super strong players to play against, like none other than Yakov N right now, the legend himself. Uh, Yakov is, of course, just an absolute stud blitz player, and he's beating me already. I'm blundering. I'm blundering. Somebody hold this for me. I'm blundering. Hold this for me. I'm blundering. That's how my life feels sometimes. Like, could somebody hold this for me? I'm busy blundering. Hold that thought. I'm blundering. Hey, could you uh, hold my calls? I'm blundering. It is 1-1 once again because I had some success playing 1-1 last time against uh, an international master, Commandorus 1-2-3. That was, that was kind of fun town. So we're playing 1-1 again. Oh, ah, duh, okay. Like I said, hold my calls. I'm blundering. That was just an absolute... Absolute blunderfest. See if we can not just go down, go down straight against the legend Yaakov today. So let's see if we can make something decent happen in this bullet brawl. We shall see. Um, what am I supposed to do against this move? I kind of forget. This is probably not great for him and what he's doing. But it is a little bit tricky. Yeah? Sure is typical tricky Yakov. Typical tricky Yakov. That's what's going on here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take here. Hoping to win pawns back and, and maybe point out that his position is not that ideal with some isolated pawns on the board. I think I'm probably right about that, but like we said, it's a mess of a position right now. It is a mess of a position currently. Yeah, I was wondering if he was going to do that, but I thought maybe I could come out and attack the queen. And the queen is sort of starving for squares that protect the knight. Which means, if he has to go back with knight f3, is there a good move for me there? Maybe. He decides he does have to go back with knight f3. But I'm going to play f5 anyway. Maybe undermine the pawns. Undermine the protection of the knight here. Although if he takes it, I'm not even sure I have anything clear. I probably have to take with the rook. He decides he's not going to take it anyway. His point being that if I take here, he takes it. I take with check, he takes it. I take there, he takes the bishop. Seems super dangerous for him, am I right? Kind of does, but... Seems like I might even have been winning there, but I didn't have enough time to calculate all the mess that it was. So just making some... So, uh, some... Ah! Uh, Ugh! I was just playing too fast, playing too fast and blundering the knight, which leads to this mess, and I'm losing for sure. Both a show. Although it's actually kind of tricky for him, huh? Uh, really? I guess so. I guess he can do that. Oh, maybe I had something better. Darn it. I probably had something better than what I did. Not a lot of time. Not a lot of time for anybody here. Am I getting mated? I hope not. I guess I am. I guess I'm just losing. Darn it. I thought that was going to work better than it did. 
but okay. Lost now. He's got the right colored bishop, same color corner. It was a little tricky, huh? Maybe I had something there. Yeah, after he unpins, it's still, it's just so open. I mean, I'd have to really play some accurate moves, maybe like queen e6, guarding both checks, right? But I'm going to guess that white is probably winning. Yeah, he said it's a wild game. I said, yeah, I agree. That was a wild game. All right, well, let's not go down straight here against Yakov. Let's try to get a win, everybody. Talking to you. Talking to you, pre-recorded fans who never have interaction with me like I imagine you do. Um, Yakov and I and I have played this more than a few times before. We have played this system more than a few times before. That's the truth. Ooh, maybe I could have actually. Ooh, I would have loved to have just taken there. Am I that worried about it? I don't know that I am, but I'm going to retreat anyway. And I'm going to offer this queen trade, actually. See if he likes it. He doesn't. He doesn't like it, but does he want to give up the bishop? If he doesn't, then he's kind of being pushed back, so I don't know. This is just like totally equal stuff. White has a hanging pawn structure. I don't have the ideal hanging pawn structure because normally there are, you know, there's more minor pieces on the board. It's it's kind of similar principles to what make an IQP type position successful. So I wouldn't say this is a, a super ideal type of hanging pawn structure. But I wouldn't say his play has been, oh my gosh, I just wanted to check me in one. I was going to say, I don't think his play has been great either. And it hasn't been. I should have just traded here. And the end game is now in pretty good shape for me. So that was just stupid. I played f4, being a little ambitious about my chances, which is not bad. But all right, let's play an epic bull of brawl against Yaka. I'm pretty sure I've only gone over against like two people in a bull of brawl. One of them was Hikaru Nakamura, right? So we hope that that's not going to be the case in these scenarios against Yaka. Play d5, get a big center up a pawn. He blundered out of the opening with a mouse slip, so that's that's the truth. What? All right, I guess I'll take here. What is going on? This is just this is just crazy, silly, crazy, silly, stupid. Is actually what it is. Okay. I guess I'm going to back up. Or should I play bishop e6? Bishop e6, I guess he'll take with check. And then he's going to win more things with check. So if I back up, though, I don't know that that's ideal either. Wow, this has just turned out not as good as I thought. I mean, or I missed some kind of win earlier, huh? We're going to go for that. Oh, I thought he was going to... I thought the whole thing was he was going to take with the queen there. Maybe he should have, actually. Maybe he didn't see that. Maybe he forgot that he could take with the queen. It's possible. I'm going to bring my bishop to this diagonal, though, in the hopes that something nasty might happen. And indeed, something nasty could be happening here for him, if he's not careful. Uh, I can take and then... No, I guess we'll go there. Uh, darn it, I had better. I had better. That's the truth. I think for sure I had better than what I got. Oh. Still not great for him, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he's just blundering. He's just blundering away, this one. Yeah. Well, an offer we will not take in today's Bull of Brawl that's likely just going to turn into a Danny versus Yakov battle because that seems to be the direction that we're headed right now. All right, 
And we've been here before, have we not? A uh, strangeness. A strange center this way comes. Aragorn. Aragorn. I feel a strange center this way comes. Aragorn. Legolas. Aragorn. This looks pretty Fantismo for me, actually. That G file is like a ton of fun. And a bowl of tricks rolled into one. Aragorn. It is your destiny, Aragorn. I have 97 check and then I have five. This position is just awful for him. I mean, I'm like, I'm like checkmating you, dude. I know you're going to play there because you, you were your only choice, but I'm going to give check and then... Oh, I don't have what I thought I did. All right, that means we're kind of bailing out, I guess. I guess we're bailing out with this idea. Going after the piece. Oh, he takes that way. But I think that's going to be okay for me. Maybe I should have taken. Aragorn. Not sure he saw that, but he's actually still got a decent amount of compensation, despite the fact that that was a blunder. It's always irritating when your opponent just, like, flat out misses something, but the position is far from over. <laughs> you know? For me personally, that's irritating. Because I know I'm, a, I'm about a hop, skip, and away from a blunder any second myself. You know? So, it's always a little bit worrisome. I guess I'll come down to the 7th rank. Now I will uh, come this way. I don't have a lot of time. Once again, that's kind of the issue, is I don't have a ton of time. But this position is certainly less than pleasant for him. Let's just say this isn't Pleasantville, right? Now we take there, and we made him. Yeah. Played pretty well that game, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Look at that. Who knew? I played a good game. Holy shenanigans. All right, let's keep playing. No more. No more. One more. Don't run away, Yaakov. I love you. Yaakov, I love you. I love you. All right, he came back. He heard my call. He said, Danny, I love you too. I'll never let go. I'll never let go. I said, thank you. Oh, wait, this is how I've lost to him so many times. <laughs> All right. Be careful, Danny. Aragorn, a wicked center this way comes. All right. Now, now, right. Aragorn, a wicked center. This way comes. I can feel the orcs coming. They near me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we're getting into something really weird. Aragorn, the orcs are nearing me. The orcs are coming. Bam. Slam. Jam. Bam, slam, jam. Let's play there. He's playing well, and Yaakov, of all people, would be somebody who can certainly come back after blundering his queen early. But I don't think he saw that coming. That was my trick of completing development. Because now I get that knight, and the pawn is pinned, and everybody's happy. Everybody's real, real happy, all right? Check. Check, and win the rug. All right, is he going to let it be a best of seven? An epic best of seven? One more? One more? No. He says, not my day. But you got to let me do best of seven. Best of seven? No? Okay. I love you. I love you. Wait. 
Ah, he did it! He said, okay, fine, best of seven. He doesn't even know I'm recording. He's just being a trooper. That's because he's adorable, that's why. Even though he says it's not his day, he's being a trooper. Well, you know what? A not a not good day for Yakov is a day that I would take pretty much nine days out of the week for me. Did I really just say nine days out of the week? What is wrong with me? I don't even know, dude. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, he wants to win my queen here, right? Well, I'm going to go here, right? Take it, take it, take it, do it, like it. Oh, nice. That was just a bit of a mistake there. Oh, oh, look at him. He's a genius. But is he that much of a genius? <laughs> Somebody else is also a genius. I'm not going to let you checkmate me, homie. Oh, wait a tick. Hold a tick, Slice McGee. All right. We've got to prevent him from taking that ball there. Now, how can we... How can we get nasty? I have an idea. Is it the best idea I've ever come up with? Likely not. But that's neither here nor there now, is it? Take it. Take it. Right, it's going to be a turn to an epic best of seven. Who's going to win it? Right, I'm going to try to trade rooks here. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Let's try to trade rooks here. Okay, I'll go there. Oh, holy cannoli, Cropoli. I just blundered in what was a winning game up a pawn. Now we're equal with four on three, and maybe he's even better. I just miss bishop takes c2 with check. That's the honest truth. Saying anything else would be a lie. But I'm going to maintain the tension as long as possible. Right? Tension is like a good guitar. Without tension on the strings, you can have no music. That is... Pro I'm, like a, I'm like a prophet right now. That was, that was amazingly deep, Danny. Thanks, Danny. Danny, you're talking to yourself again, Danny. I know, Danny. Uh, right. Now. Come down here with check. Right. And then come here. Hold a tick. Wait a sec. Wait a second. He's gonna go after my pawns, that silly guy. Oh no. Oh no. Wow, he did it. How did he do that? Man, I totally blundered away that game. I just blew my first ever best of seven victory against Yakov. I mean, this position is certainly more than winning. I'm just, it's just stupid. What am I thinking about letting him advance the pawn? This is one of those things that happens in Blitz where you like play these like knee jerk reaction moves when in reality, like just bringing the king back is all I need to do here. Just bring the king back. Every move I played with the rook just made... I literally just gave him two tempos. And those are two huge tempos for the pawns because my rook is not any better here than it is here as far as being suited to stop the pawns. So. Okay, well, we tip our hat. We wag our finger at Yaakov. We give him one of the Sammy Sosas. Still relevant. And we give all of you our love. That's right. Go out and be somebody.